Welcome back everyone to example one of our arc length using integration. Uh, so here we're finding the length of y equals x to the three halves power on the interval zero to four for x. So we've got our formula that we figured out in our uh, arc length intro video. And so we're going to go ahead and do the steps. So we mentioned that the first thing you would do um, is to take your function and find its derivative. So our f of x here is x to the 3 halves in this example. So if I find the derivative of f of x, so f prime of x, uh, this is just going to be a power rule. So the power comes out front, we get 3 halves x to the, now the power goes down by 1, so 3 halves minus 1 would be 1 half. And x to the 1 half you might think of as, uh, if you prefer, the square root of x, right? So that would be 3 halves square root of x for f prime of x. Now in the formula, f prime is squared, so we go ahead and find f prime of x squared. So we'll square what we just got. So if I square the 3 halves, I get 9 on top, 4 on bottom, and then square root of that would be x. And so we have 9 fourths x for our f prime squared. So I'll put that in the root. I'll add 1 to it. Let's go ahead and do that. So our length on this function from x equals 0 to x equals 4 is going to be uh, the integral 1 plus 9 fourths x square root of that dx. Okay, so this would require a substitution. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a u substitution here. So I will say that u equals what's inside of the square root, one plus nine fourths x. And if that's true, then du is equal to nine fourths dx. So in other words, this part here is going to be u. And then dx, if you're not sure how to sub for dx, we could go ahead and solve for dx. I could multiply by the reciprocal on both sides and get that 4 over 9 du is equal to dx. So this part here would actually be 4 ninths du. Okay, let's go ahead and work that. So we'll get that the length is going to equal. Now remember these are x bounds, not u bounds. So even though I'm changing into u, I'm going to go ahead and leave these as x bounds. So I would have the square root of u, and then my dx becomes 4 ninths du. So 4 ninths du. Now a couple of things. We can obviously bump the constant multiple out. So we can think 4 ninths times our integral. So 4 ninths. Again, remember these are x bounds from 0 to 4. And then if you want to think of this as a power rule, u to the 1 half, again that idea that square root is the 1 half power of something. So now I can do this as a power. So I keep my 4 ninths multiple, and if I'm integrating this, then my power will go up by 1. So if I add 1 to a half, that will be 3 halves. I will divide by the new power. I'll write that in. We won't leave it like that for sure, right? So divide by that new power from x equals 0 to x equals 4. Now, a couple of things. So divide by 3 halves is going to be the same as multiply by the reciprocal, right? So you're really going to have 4 ninths times 2 thirds instead of divide by 3 halves. u to the 3 halves. And we will be evaluating that from x equals 0 to x equals 4. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to multiply my constants uh, out here. So I will actually get 8 over 27 in the front. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and replace my u. And if you remember, u was 1 plus 9 fourths x. So I will have that to the 3 halves. And now that I'm back in terms of x, I can just rewrite the bounds as 0 to 4 and not have to write the x equals if I don't want to. I still can. Um, so when we do this and we plug in, we'll have to remember uh, 3 halves power. So the bottom here means square root. The top means cubed, right? So first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and say 8 over 27. I'm just going to bump that out. Um, so if I plug in the 4 then that will give me 1 plus 9 over 4 times 4 to the 3 halves minus 1 plus 9 over 4 times 0 
to the three halves. Okay, and now we need to just do some arithmetic here. So we'll get 8 over 27. Um, here the 4 is going to cancel with the 4 down there. It becomes a 1, so we get 1 plus 9, so we get 10 to the 3 halves. Minus, and then here this would become 0, so 1 plus 0 would be 1 to the 3 halves. Now anything, uh, any power of 1 is just going to be 1, right? So this is really going to be 8 over 27. Um, and then we'll have 10 to the 3 halves minus 1. We could leave it that way in terms of units. Um, another way that we could do this, we could rewrite this in terms of roots. So you may see uh, somebody who does a problem similar to this might say, um, so this would be the square root of 10 and then cubed, right? So you might have something like the square root of 10 cubed inside the brackets here minus 1. And then they may simplify it further and they may go ahead and see three copies of a square root, right? So if you think about root 10 times root 10 times root 10, uh, two of those copies makes a 10, right? So this would really be 10 root 10. And so what you may see as a final answer from a lot of people on this one would be something like 8 over 27 in the front, and then they would say 10 root 10 minus 1. And its length, which is one-dimensional quantity, so we would say units there. Okay, hopefully this helped with a similar problem you might be working on, or just your first attempt at doing one of these. Check out the next uh, example videos. They involve a little bit more creative factoring in doing some of these problems.